Hello, it's Bevan Bird here with Jen Tiller, and we're having a chat. Hi, Jen. How are you? Hi, Bevan. It's great to, to catch up further. I'm really excited about what we were discussing earlier and seeing if we can take that further. Yeah. Me too. Absolutely. So this is just the first time that we've been talking. We've been having a great conversation. We have a lot in common, and yeah. we're getting to know each other. And, uh, and so in, in your group, uh, which is called what again, please? Healer Zone. Oh. In, as in the healer's own community, but also the zone in which healers do their best work. Mm -hmm. I love yeah. it. So the so you wanted to have more engagement, where you wanted the people who, who just come into the group and drop something and don't really engage, you wanted them to know how to more engage and get the results that they want, right? Well, yeah, to make more of the community, to, to grow community and right. relationships and, mm -hmm. and participate more, mm -hmm. uh, you know, for the people who are, yeah, they tend to drop, uh, an event in from the outside of the group and they, they don't even see the stuff going on but they're mm -hmm. missing out on so much from that okay so so it's very important to you to build community right and i think there was Absolutely. another thing you said connection yeah that's why i started healer zone you know i've been okay. teaching and training them for years and the one thing they felt was very isolated as therapists it's a very isolating industry and it's very important they connect with like-minded people Okay, um, so so what is so so what was the challenge? Well, like I said, just just getting them to stop throwing things in from the outside of the the Facebook group, so they're actually mm -hmm. not arriving in the group to even see the questions that I'm asking them to see the educational opportunities, mm -hmm. and I want to make sure that they get that um, the awareness that there's something going on in the group. Okay, and so it, and so you're passionate about building the community, but then it's a but you don't want to do the the education to them about the engagement thing, right? But then you notice when I was talking about uh, some of the things I do, you saw you said that I really lighted up when I was talking about engagement, some specific things. Absolutely, your your face just lit up when you talked about that, and I want the results of that. But my expertise is in teaching them about therapeutic skills specifically, mm -hmm. rather than marketing. You know, I'm I, I can see they really need it and I know how to do it myself, but that's not where I want to spend my time. So if you can share that information, that'd be just great. All right. Awesome. So that's why I made this little video for everyone to watch to see how you're able to, if you get to know people, you're able to find ways to help each other. And we've found some ways to help each other already in just a yeah. very short conversation so far. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I look forward to sh sharing with them, finding out exactly what to share with them and, and do that. Yeah. Yeah, so very much a, a practical how-to model because therapists, uh, they love what they do, they're passionate about what they do, but they don't know how to make the most of it to reach the people that need to hear what they've got to offer. Okay. Okay, I think, I think the first couple of things are to go into that group and, and spend a little bit of time looking at what's already in there because we have to listen first and check out like, what's happening in a community before we just put our stuff in there. Look for some things in there, find some exciting things and, and common ground and go and engage. Like those posts, leave a comment, add something to the conversation, share your perspective, your opinion, right? Find like-minded people there and connect or build relationships or more community by like, you know, getting into conversations and, and not just sending them a link to go somewhere else. Like, oh, I've written this about this here. Not definitely not doing that at the beginning either, right? But really having simple conversations with people right there especially around things that you're passionate about and Absolutely. starting place. Yeah. And it's something that is in the description, you know, this do X, Y, and Z, but they they have to be there to do that. So, you know, how do, how do I get them from the, when they're not actually popping into the group, is there any way I can reach them or is that just a, a Facebook mechanism for them to, to see what's going on? Okay. Well, there's different ways that we can reach those people, right? Like th through your email list, the email broadcasts, your social media posts, um, private messages to the people. So the ones that, uh, the ones that just drop something in there, but they don't ever engage, what mm -hmm. we can do is send them a private message. And this could be a little form letter and, or, or an assistant can send that out, right? That's part of your, your team, your system. I don't have one. Oh yeah. Me either right now. <laughs> uh, but I do, I do have people who are willing to do, help me with the moderation. Once we've got a system, you know, they okay. have to help out. So yeah, um, 
yeah, so yeah, these are just sort of chasing people up and just educating them on the fly or, or sending them a video in, in that maybe. Yeah, maybe we have yeah so then that. that's how I can help because we'll make these videos and then, yeah. and so then this one here will help them. Like, do you want more engagement? Do you want to really connect with the community and get the full benefit of being a member of this community? Right? Absolutely. That kind of thing. And, then, and then we help them do that with yeah. some simple step-by-step -step things. And like you can spend a few minutes a day or like, you know, one, once or twice a week, you go in and do some engagement in the group, that kind of thing. If we give them simple instructions like that, that's how you can do it. Because they can build relationships with members of the community over time and build more of a thriving community. Build relationships and get the amazing benefits like how you and I have connected, right? Yeah. Because of being in Justin Livingston and Callan Rush's community. Yeah, it's, it's such a powerful thing to, the whole point of Healer Zone is to support each other. You know, you can't give what you don't have. So if you're exhausted and you're drained and you, you need to be spending time with uplifting, like-minded, great people to just get that boost and, and so you can keep going. Because with, with therapist clients particularly, our clients are by definition sick, sad, miserable, angry, frightened, confused, lost. Yeah. You spend your life with them. So it's important to spend time with people you really resonate at a higher level with. Yeah, yeah, and they'll pull you forward. People that ideally that they're farther ahead of you in, in the kind of the thing that you're doing, they'll pull you for even farther forward. But there's also peers. I've heard a 33% rule, 33% of the time with those that work coaching, mentoring, or healing, helping therapy, 33% uh, of peers, sim similar level, 33% mentors for us, mentors for us. I think that's a, that's a great idea. You know, and you know, and the thing is, what what I really love about the intent, well, the intention of the whole healers and thing is to create what I call a referral circle. So not just a referral swap. So I could refer you, and you can refer me, and that's great. But if you refer me to somebody else who refers somebody else around, and it comes back around because we're all connected, mm -hmm. and we all know each other because we all have slightly different expertise. And today yeah. I might need what you do, and tomorrow it's somebody else, but they'll need what you do the next day. And it goes around and it's not just a two-way street so i, I think mm. if we can build a referral circle where we have shared understanding of different skill sets okay we can we can educate and we can educate our groups our communities about what we all do we'll okay. all grow we'll all flourish well yeah that's great a lot of business networking is done like that bni is very structured but it's not it's not the way that i love to do it um but we can do some kind of round table networking uh, I love to know to, to mastermind and so like mm -hmm. people that for your idea right with healer uh, a network around around network uh, referral thing the ones who want to do that you could meet regularly in a zoom room. No, I'm not I'm not talking about the networking groups I'm oh. just uh, we do that as well we do that as well we have the physical groups oh. that meet up but just in terms quite a lot of our people never will meet up in person you know you're heading mm -hmm. to back to Vancouver and I'm in England but the the meetup is, is the spirit awareness of the value that we have for each other mm -hmm. and, and about having that relationship and going you know I can talk to my, my friend Selena who happens to maybe really value the sort of things you do but she doesn't know you so we just go around it's it's mm -hmm. it can be in person but it can be in a group but again those relationships those conversations and if possible, to get a feel for what the other person does, it might be a physical, if somebody gives a massage, it's, there's nothing like having a, a physical massage, but it's not always a necessity to, have, to, to experience the soul of the person so mm. that you trust them and you know them and you, you value them mm. and you honor their skills and you can sort of send them out. So, mm. so it's an ongoing thing, right? This, this circle. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. Do, it's do, not, it's not one place, you know, it's, it's, you know, and I, I think it might be more, you know, round and round on on like circle here that overlaps with this circle over here. Yeah. Okay. Because um, what I saw immediately when he said it was like like a big Zoom room, right? With Zoom, people can meet together and do that kind of mastermind and get to know. Because if you go around the circle, people can say what they do and what's unique about it. And then, oh, okay. Right? Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about it. Hmm? Yeah, we 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 do that in the networking meeting. Okay. Great. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But I'm just talking about a virtual circle of people who are just a, a, a mental idea of okay. a community where you just pay it forward. It's not just a swap of referrals. It's oh yeah, it's a bigger thing that goes around. That okay, was. great. That's awesome. Now I understand what you're saying. 
yeah. but we do also do it in the networking meetings but not everybody can physically make it to a networking meeting so mm -hmm. uh, and zoom works really well but as i said if you've got a physical uh therapeutic option you really need to have an experience of that in person mm -hmm. so, so there's different different ways of going about it but i like the mastermind idea and it's certainly something i'm, I'm interested in setting up which is a slightly it's a deeper level of of the networking communities okay cool yeah um i Do may you know, i may invite that's you to a mastermind too that we have a conscious business mastermind that's only invite only and it's free but obviously it's invite only and the group is only going to go up to 12 people so it's small but i'll invite i will probably invite you uh, i could I invite you for the next month yeah thank you yeah that would be great yeah yeah, it's it's that sort of experience that I can spread back to the community it would be wonderful. Yeah. All right, great. Okay. Um, yeah. I think that's so I think that's great. Beautiful things. I think that that's uh, yeah enough for people to digest at the moment, enough for me to have digested. Mm. Okay, so so how do they find you online? Your communities, your website. Okay, mm. uh, we have the the healerzone dot com website, which is our resource hub. That's where you find things like the online learning platform, which members can add their own services to um, and write articles and we've got forums and um, listing services, all that sort of stuff for the paltry sum of three pounds 50 a month, because it's a crowdfunded exercise. I want everybody to just make the most of it. And then there's the Facebook community, which is the global healer zone community. And we've got you know, thousands of members there and it's a fantastic place because every single person in it has been personally moderated. So, you know, they're the real deal. They're mm, great people. That's great. How many years have you been building community in the healer area? Uh, 14 years, 15 years. Mm -hmm. I did it before Facebook existed. Let's put it that way. Okay. I've been, I've been te teaching awesome. and training therapists for that long and then, you know, I get to the end of the, the uh, workshops and I say, you need to be surrounded by like-minded, positive, uplifting people. And they go, but I don't know anyone. Oh, yeah. Hey, hang on. You just spend the weekend in a room full of them. Oh, yeah. Phone number. And they went, I don't think of that. Oh, and I went, yeah. okay. So after a lot of these conversations, I just went, it's going to be me. I have to do something about this. You just made and real white bulbs go off here because yeah. it's like, well, that, this is a need that I can fill. Cause I, I've, I kind of saw that just a little bit. Sometimes people reach out to me and say they wanted to have more positive, inspiring people in their life. And I didn't see it as a huge niche or anything like that, but, it's but I, it, it is really. Absolutely. And that's where healer zone comes in. You know, that's, the heart-centered healer is the core of it, but that could be anything from a, um, whether it's a medical doctor, complementary therapist, spiritual, a yoga teacher, a coach, where, where the well-being of others is the focus of the work. That's my community. Mm. So, so I think it's like building a support community. People have it's, a need for the therapists and healers. They need, they have a need to build their own support community. Absolutely. That's exactly why, why I put it together. It's, okay. you know, you awesome. can't give what you don't have and, and you have to look after yourself. You have to enrich yourself and, and resource yourself so that you can keep giving. And that's what the community does. We take turns to give each other treatments, to cry on each other's shoulders, to share information about growing and marketing and learning and, and building businesses. Mm -hmm. And some of us are teachers and some of us are perennial students because I love to learn. I don't know about you, but I love to learn. Mm -hmm. And it's, yeah, we, we find so many people in that community that there are bound to be the people who you need right there if you ask. You've got to ask. It's really important that you ask for the help that you need as well as being that perennial giver. Mm -hmm. They're great at givers, but they're not always so good at receiving. Mm -hmm. And you said that these people want to help, right? So if you put a post that you're looking for something or you need help with something, that's great because the people will jump in to help and you can start real conversations, have meaningful connections and, and make progress yeah. with those people. I, th I think that's the best way to do it because that's people feel comfortable giving mm -hmm. in our community. I don't know about other communities, but in our community, they feel comfortable giving. That's but great. Finding, finding a way for them to learn to ask that's a different matter. And I, you know, I really want to encourage them to learn to ask for help and support because that's what the community's for. Okay. I hope I can really help on that. 
And okay, thank fantastic. you for sharing all of this. And and like, so your community is really exciting. And I only just found out about it. I didn't even know it existed until today. And in our conversation, it started out as something else because um, it was about like environmental things and the, and the wildcats and stuff. Um, yeah. Is that something, is that something from, from in this video, right? From what people have watched, is that something that people would not really tend to know about you? But the passion with cat wildcats? With the big cats? Um, if they've had anything to do with me for five minutes, they know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, the, I work with, um, for those who by some reason haven't found this, I work with big and wild cats as a volunteer at a sanctuary and we have, um, it's a breeding center and a rescue center. And we also have a 10,000 acre reserve in Argentina and there's lots of other stuff going on and it's really powerful. That's wonderful. This is how I got connected with you is your post yeah. about the things that you're passionate about. Cause this is yeah. what you do for fun, right? Yeah. I, well, yeah, it's just been part of my life for so long. It's just, it soothes my soul. It lifts me up when I do that. And, that's um, wonderful. That's well, let's, let's soothe all of our souls together. And, and I, I will join your community. I only just found out and look forward to sharing with your members and collaborating with you further. That, that's absolutely wonderful. I just, there's so many things that you can offer that our community needs that I, I am aware of and I have some understanding of it, but it's not my area of expertise. And I can go, yeah, Kevin. Mm -hmm. And this is what I love to do too. I love to do that as well is to take away some responsibilities and, and kind of simplify my life and go, Oh, I don't need to do this because I know people that are great at that. And, and so on the same thing, likewise, I want to also uh, connect you with my community. And so we've started to get to know that. And so there's some things there you're passionate about building community, about collaborating instead of competing. Um, yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. Healing, and healing journey. Mm -hmm. There's, there's so much that there's enough of an overlap mm -hmm. and we have the expertise that we can just go, I can do that. You can do this and let the rest of it go, which is great. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Well, I'll be in it's touch really, very soon. It's really a joy to meet with you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for your time today. You're very welcome. Mm -hmm. okay. Healers. Is it, is it the healerzone.com? Just, just healerzone.com. Healers anyway, zone. I'll, message, I'll message you with all the links. Yeah. Okay, Healers, great. H E A L E R Z O N E dot com. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Everyone, check it out. And that's an amazing deal, by the way. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. More to come. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Right. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.